hope you're all okay. I had thought I would do a little video, um, kind of carrying on from last week, about making a musical instrument. Okay, so this is a different musical instrument to the one that I made last week with the girls. So, um, what you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. Um, you are gonna need a grown-up to help you with this. Two paper plates, let me just Telling me my battery's gonna run out soon. Two paper plates, a wooden spoon, some string, or I've got kind of embroidery thread there that I borrowed from school, some kitchen foil, some cellar tape, and some crayons or pens or something to decorate it with. So this is how it works. Take one of your paper plates and you're going to sellotape your um, wooden spoon into the middle like that. Okay, so I'm going to pop it down while I do that. Um, oh, find the end of my sellotape. So I'm going to pop the... So probably take a few strips to do this. Oops. Um, I'll do three bits. Okay. So now you have your um, paper plate attached to your spoon like that. So the next thing that you're going to do. So that it's this side, it's the, um, the inside that you've taped your spoon to. You're going to match the plate to the outside like that. Okay, match the plate to the outside. And then just using little bits of sellotape, put some on the edge of my table. So I'm going to put it on the edge of my table just so that I know I've got lots of little strips and we're going to attach our two, piece, uh, our two paper plates together. So, just, so you're going to put your little strip of sellotape around like that, kind of all the way around little intervals to hold it tight. Like I say, you're probably going to need a grown-up to help you with this because it's just a little bit fiddly. Um, I'll put another one there. There we go. Last bit. Ooh, I've got wrapped around my finger. You all had a nice pancake day today. Mm, we had, as at lunchtime, it was yummy. We had fruit and then I melted some chocolate in a bowl and we had the um, chocolate and pancakes and the fruit dipped in, it was so nice. Anyway, so this is what you're left with. So you're left with, it looks a little bit like a giant lollipop, doesn't it? There we go. So, I'm next going to get my string and I'm going to do two just short little lengths, just kind of about that long, not very long at all. So two, pretty much the same as that. Okay, and I'm going to sellotape them. One on one side and one on the other. Find the end of my cellar tape again. I should never put it down because I just lose the end all the time. Oh, there we are. I'm gonna put a few more strips on the edge of the table. Don't tell Mr. Lamb. There's lots of um, crafty things that me and the girls get up to in the daytime. While Mr. Lang is at work. 
and they make a right old mess. However, as long as we clean it all up afterwards, so, can you hear my girls upstairs singing? Right, I'm going to sellotape my little bit of string, oops, into the middle. Uh oh, it's collapsed. I might just stick a finger inside and pop it back out. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So, got a piece of string on that side and a piece of string on that side. Right, nearly there. Now, the kitchen foil. Now, this is the bit as well that you might need a grown up to help you with because what I don't want to do is for you to hurt yourself. Because sometimes it's, um, ours is made out of cardboard, so it's okay, but sometimes it's quite sharp, that thing along the edge. So, I've got myself a nice square of kitchen paper, uh, kitchen paper, kitchen, to kitchen foil. There we go. I'm just going to cut it in half. Like that. And then, this is a bit fiddly. You're going to get your piece of string. Well, first of all, you're going to push this into a ball. Quite a tight ball as well, so that it's quite quite hard. And then you're going to use some more cello tape to cello tape your ball of foil onto your little string. Okay. Make sure that your ball of, of foil is going to hit about there. So you keep putting um, the tape on just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then do the same on the other side. And my second piece of foil. Nice. Tight ball, like that. And mm, cut the pieces of sellotape just to make sure it doesn't pop off. And then the very last thing to do is to decorate it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to decorate mine for you um, just because it takes ages. And already, you've been watching me for nearly 10 minutes. So I'm sure that you want to get, get on, crack on with your instruments. All right, so your new instrument looks a little bit like this. That on that side, that on the other side. Are you ready? This is how you play it. You move it in between your um, hands like this. So you get the wooden spoon handle and you move it and then you brilliant it's really good and loud mums and dads will love it this half term okay so this is how it works brilliant and yours are going to look really exciting, all decorated. Brilliant. I can't wait to see what you've been doing. I can't wait to see your musical instrument. And um, I hope you're having a lovely half term. And I hope that you're finding plenty to keep yourself occupied. Remember, listen to your grown-ups. They're trying their hardest. It's hard work at the moment being a grown-up. So help them out. Listen. Be on your best behaviour. Okay? Especially this half term. Half terms are hard, especially after what we've all been through this hot, this term. Okay, so have fun. Show me your instruments that you make. See if you can make yours look a bit more exciting than mine does at the moment. 
I'm off to decorate mine. But I can't wait to see your photos. Take care and I shall see you again soon.